x squared minus y squared equal to 9. x y equal to 3. We should solve it in real numbers. So one important thing when we have two equations like this is to use replacement so let's apply replacement you can solve harder problems so if we divide both sides by x how we can do that because maybe x is zero we can say x is not zero because if x is zero then this product will be zero zero will be equal to three contradiction but we divide by x y equal to three over x and let's replace it in first equation x squared we replace y with 3 over x squared equal to 9 so we can say x squared now from power rule we can say let me erase these things because we don't need that anymore if i want to write for you power rule 8 over b to the m equal to 8 o to the m b to the m so i can say x squared minus this part by applying power rule will be 3 squared which is 9 over x squared equal to 9 now i want to get rid of denominators we multiply by x squared x to the 4 minus because x squared times x squared is x to the 4 minus 9 equal to 9 x squared now let's take all things to the left hand side it will be x to the 4 minus 9x squared minus 9 equal to 0. Now, I consider x squared as z. We can write x to the 4 will be z squared minus 9z minus 9 equal to 0. Now, we want to use quadratic formula for solving this. Quadratic formula is what? If we have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, then x equal to negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In this part, you can say a is 1, b is negative 9, and c is negative 9. So that equal to negative b, negative negative 9 plus minus square root of b squared negative 9 squared minus 4ac, which is 4 times 1 times negative 9, all over 2a, which is 2 times 1. So let's calculate this z. z is, let me write it here. Negative negative 9 is 9 plus minus 9 squared. Negative 9 squared is 81 minus 4 times 1 times negative 9 is plus 36 all over 2. So if I write it again here, z equal to 9 plus minus square root. 81 plus 36 is 117. It will be 117 all over 2. Now, z was what? Was x squared z is x squared so it should be at least zero so because z is at least zero we know nine is root 81 so if you can select minus sign it will be negative so z should be nine plus root 117 over two also if you want you can write 117 is multiple of nine is nine times one it will be 27 13 okay but you can also write it as 9 plus 3 root 13. Because root 9 is 3 over 2. And we want to find x. So x will be, because we know x is plus minus z. So it will be plus minus square root of 9 plus 3 root 13 all over 2. And if you want to find y, we know y equal to 3 over x. So y will be 3 over plus minus square root of 9 plus 3 root 13 all over 2. Okay, we found x and y. If you want to learn other ideas, other formulas, other important things, tricks, changing variables, important things that are useful in math exams, calculus, algebra, all things, you can send message to my number 
that is in the top comments and also descriptions. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Let me write one other homework. The homework is this. X cubed minus Y cubed equal to 27. And this part, X, Y equal to 3. Solve in real numbers. X and Y are real. And try to see X and Y are what. You can comment your answers right below this video. Thank you.